Welcome back to Ixer Garage. Just came from a car meet. You guys probably saw the video by now. Anyway, it's the same day, but I'm gonna do a brake video for my cousin's Odyssey. She has a brake shake issue. Um, comment on these, a lot of momentum with this uh, heavy van. So, gotta slap some pads and rotors on. Good morning, San Diego. Good morning, SD. What's happening, West Coast? I love Cali. Good morning, San Diego. Good morning, SD. What's happening, West Coast? Good morning, Cali. All right, I had to play some musical cars real quick. There's a little bit of a shade on that side. So anyway, looks like it's the right part. It's for an Odyssey 2017, 16, 17, it's all the same. Rotor should be all the same, but you never know. All right, got the proper setup going on. Got the fans going. They can get some airflow going before we start working on this thing. Just have you guys watch me do some pads and rotors. This thing has a mean shake starting at 40 miles an hour when braking. Pretty extreme. So not a biggie. Rotors are warped. Looks like her brake pads percentage wise is still good, but we're just going to replace everything. First things first, we're going to loosen up the lug nuts by hand, put the car in the air. Hopefully we won't need the air compressor. Pretty straightforward. Car is on jack stands. So I have the jack right there on the sub front, front part of the subframe. There's a uh, 14 millimeter bolt right there. You can take that off and the caliper swings up and you could pull out the caliper pin. Be careful with this rubber right here. You don't want to yank on it and rip it. Um, just take your hand, squeeze and kind of finesse it out of there. Bam, put it on top and then take off this one rotor screw. Thank God Honda decided to put just one rotor screw instead of two. So yeah, you can little see, actually you can actually see little micro cracks in here. Not a big deal. I believe that would even uh, go away during resurfacing if we resurfaced it. So before anything else, I'm gonna check on the parts, check on the rotor. Brake pads look like they're about the same. You just wanna compare everything because we don't wanna run into uh, wrong parts. All right, let's go. Let's see if these screws will come off. They should. Doesn't look like they're rusty. Got my handy dandy snap on. Impact driver set here. Yeah, let's see. Number three. Nintendo controllers. Classic. Now where the Nintendo is, game system. I don't know where that is. But anyway, let's knock off that rotor screw. Booyah! Booyah! All right, I just compared the rotors. They look like they're the right size. Oh shoot, is that drizzle? Better not start raining. 14 millimeter bolt right here. Booyah! Take the bolts off. Had to glove it up for this one. Don't want to get dirty. Bam! Oh, cracking on the brake pads. So I'm gonna squeeze, twist, pull, turn. I'm gonna take this caliper out. Now I can use my special piston tool to push it in. All right, take up the brake pads. See on the Hondas, don't need to worry about transferring over the shims because their brake pad set comes with uh, the shims. Like I've been saying before, Nissan, Toyota, for some reason, they don't want to do that. All right, then these are 19s right here. Zap, zap. The lighting doesn't look that great, but um, let's go ahead and wipe the old grease off so we could apply new grease. So let's take this off, like I said, you would squeeze it, turn it, squeeze it, turn it. Wipe off the old grease and put some new grease on. Not just any grease, um, silicone caliper grease. Silicone paste, what they call it. Made by 3M. Get the bottom bolt caliper pin, if you will. Slap it in, get it in there, get the air out of the boot. That way it won't cause a bubble pop, burst or whatever. So now we can start taking off the, uh, the two 19 millimeter caliper bolts. 19 millimeter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bam. Bam. Here we go. Booyah. Let's do it. Bam. All right. 
We ain't using these rotors again, so it's okay to give it some love taps. Wow, bam, bada boom, bada bing. All right, let's spray down the old uh, or brand new rotors, clean this up a little bit, and then I slap the new one on, get the brake pads ready for install. No, not again. That was the last straw. And get this time. All right, what we got here? You might not want to do this. Do it by hand. You know what I mean? Yep, just like that. How help? Better to do it by hand. That way you don't go to town with the cordless impact. Passenger's rotor is on, but I'm never off. Always on until the brick of dawn. All right, let's zap it. Torque it down the spec. So I'm gonna put Molly coat on here. Nothing special to that, it's anti-squeak substance. So we'll have at it. Showing the time lapse, pretty straightforward. There it is, ta-da! Gotta slap the pads on now. We'll start with the inner side. Since the caliper is positioned to the front, sensor is on the upside, on the top side. Bam, see how easy that was? Let's go grab the other side. One-handed, let's roll. Coming in at a 45 degree angle and voila! Yeah, nothing like some OEM pads and OEM rotors. Now I gotta put those darn uh, springs on, those uh, anti drag springs that is not fun to put on sometimes. Especially when you gotta do it with one hand because you're holding the camera on the other. <sighs> Let's see if I could do it. Wham, wham, wham. Ooh! So at the bottom, I'll just put it on one side here just to have it halfway in halfway ready hold it squeeze it take the air out of the caliper dust boot pin now I take the bottom spray and put it in there and blah blam see that blah blam see that blam booyah air out of there get the 14 get it on there by hand finish it off with a 14 Double check this one. Thing is spinning, so I'm gonna get a wrench and hold it for the top side. Now, I don't know where the heck my 17 wrenches are, but thank goodness for these adjustable wrenches. Now, even though we didn't touch, or I didn't touch this bolt, you don't know who worked on this thing last. What if they left that thing loose? Gotta be thorough. And we do the same on the other side, and once we're done, we gotta pop your brakes. Because if you don't pump the brake, when you pump the brakes, it won't react right away. That's because you push the piston in. And with the piston pushed back, there's now there's a little bit of void, a little bit gap. And when you press on the uh, brake, the brake fluid, you know, is trying to fill a void. And when you do that, you're, just gonna, you're not going to have any uh, brake response because, um, how do I say this? The brake fluid is what pushes on the caliper, right? Or pushes on to the piston. And let me see, how, what's a good way to explain this? But anyway, when you have that void, you have a little bit of a gap between the uh, caliper um, piston and the pad. So initially, when you step on the brake, the hydraulic fluid is uh, pushing the piston in and the piston is not pushing in on anything. That's where you don't get that response. I don't know if I even said that right. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, pump your brakes. All right, same thing on this side. Um, this time I turned the wheel to the left so we can have access to the bolts. You can see it better. I mean, you don't really need to turn it like this, but makes it a whole lot easier when you can see what you're doing. Anyway, same thing on this side, like I did to the passenger side, and we'll be done with this. All right, there you have it. Pretty much done. Front brake pads and rotors have been replaced. Just gonna slap the wheels on, torque it down to 90. That's what it calls for on this and then pump the brakes and go on a nice road test. All right, 
That's how you do brakes on a 2016 Honda Odyssey. I'm gonna go on a road test, but first, we're gonna enjoy this drumstick real quick. Mm -mm. Mm hmm delicious that was pretty good this cold water is pretty good too maybe drink some red horse later on when i get back some of that filipino beer for all y'all who don't know all right let's go break in these brake pads let them seat to the rotor all right going about 40 miles an hour slowing down on this turn let's take it up to highway speeds highway to the danger zone going about 60 miles an hour right now gonna gradually slow it down so like coming up just as i suspected of course there's gonna be no brake shake got new pads and rotors all right just got back and i'm about to give her a Give my cousin Joy a call, tell her her vehicle is ready for pickup. Also notice her wheel bearings, kinda a little bit noisy, but uh, not too bad. Just let her monitor that and see if it gets worse. Does. This is um, Mixer 24 calling from Mixer Garage. Your vehicle is ready for pickup. Awesome. <laughs> Was it really bad? No. Nah. So dang, so you, you were saying at 40 miles an hour, uh, 40 miles an hour you step on the brakes and it would already shake? Yeah. But once we hit like here, wait, hold on. Oh, you need a pee pee? Okay. Oh, he needs, he needs to, pee -pee. to go pee pee. You. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Later. Nephew needs to go pee pee. All right. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Peace. I'm gonna eat some of this Nilaga. Oops. Damn, tacos in Nilaga? Damn. That's what's up. Mmm. Nilaga's on point. <laughs>